What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my indie plays. We are going to be playing Kentucky Route Zero. This is an indie game that came out, I think, like two years ago, and I received a lot of praise, and I really wanted to play through this with Terry because I thought that it kind of, at the time, it aligned with what we like in games, aesthetics, everything like that. But Terry's living in San Francisco now, uh, working for Humble Bundle, so it's really tough for us to find time to... Um, to record, so I'm going to just do it, and uh, we're starting with Act One. So let's get into it. Okay, I guess I can look at the dog or the truck. I don't know who I am, I would assume I was this person, but... Oh yeah, I am. An old hound and a straw hat. Both have seen better days. A moving truck rumbles softly to itself. Painting on its side are the words Lysette's Antiques, Furniture, Glassware, Curiosities. One of those things is not like the other. Okay. Guess I can click to move around. Attendant, check him out first. Joseph sits between gas pumps and a Queen Anne armchair. His hair is gray and his glasses darkened. Okay, can I talk to him? Damn, did you hear that wreck? Truck full of bottles. I don't know, beer bottles, whiskey? Lost a tire or something and spilled booze and glass all over the interstate. What a mess. I hope they don't come down here looking for anything. We blew a damn fuse and it's all shut off. Did I hear a dog? What's your dog's name? His name is Homer. Her name is Blue. Just some dog. I don't know his name. Um. Call. It's a her. And her name is Blue. Blue sounds like a sweet old hound. I used to know a dog like that. Oh, look how sad the dog is. Hey, here's some jerky for Blue. I made it myself. Didn't turn out too well. But I bet a dog will eat it. Getting late, right? I can feel the sun on my neck. But it's just a few feet off the horizon. I've been driving all evening looking for... Five Dogwood Drive. I've got a delivery to make on Dogwood, but I'd rather watch the sunset. Hmm. It's a nice sunset, but, I mean, if I've been driving all evening, I might as well get to the place I'm driving to, right? Hey, I understand. You gotta do... You have got to, to do the job you're paid to do. Maybe get some rest somewhere in there. Maybe have a drink, then back at it. There's dignity in that rhythm. Uh, what's your rhythm? How long have you been working here? I've been working here a number of years. It's pretty okay. You know, I have an advanced degree in a few publications. It's pretty okay here. Listen, you and Blue would be driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood Drive is on the other side of, well... To get there, you gotta take the zero. The zero is a tough route to find, but you can use my computer to look up directions. You'll have to head down into the basement and reset the circuit breaker fir first. I'll be happy to have those winding lights up back anyways. It's too damn quiet out here. The basement door is back there in the office. Appreciate your help, friend. And now here, take this lamp. It gets dark. Thanks. I'll look at Blue again. Hey, Blue. Neat. Oh, I throw like horseshoes. The mouse feels really odd. Like there's a delay or something on it. What is? Is this? A, it's a horse head. Right? Yeah. It's like nostrils. His ears are up here. This is mane. 
basement. Oh. A dusty, rusty sign is bolted on the wall. These are the rules. No open flames near the gasoline. No consumption of beer or spirits on the premises. In case of sudden darkness, do not panic. Relax. Count backwards from five. Strictly limit time and basement to fewer than three minutes of every hour. Why is that? Oh, there's people down here. Hey, guys. Let's take a look at them. Emily, Ben, and Bob sit in folding chairs behind a worn card table. Papers and oddly shaped dice and highway maps cover the tabletop. Hey, guys. Um, well, yeah, didn't know there was going to be anybody down here. Did you hear something? Uh, no. Sorry, I was looking at the rules again. Gets easier as you go. Look, you said rolled a five, right? That means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's your turn now, right? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Where'd you put that 20-sided die? I don't see it. Did you drop it? Oh, it should be easy enough to find. It glows in the dark. Ta-da! You're a liar! Well, I assume I gotta go this way, right? Oh, found it. Conway picks up the glowing 20-sided dice and inspects it. The number 5 is facing up. It's just a small piece of plastic, but it has a reassuring, almost comfort comforting weight. Places the object in his jacket pocket. Hiya! Alright, let's go back. Let's give them their die. They're not there anymore. The chairs are empty and the surface of the table is bare. Why is it that I always get so yawny when I'm, I'm, I'm recording videos? Jeez. Conway places a 20-sided die on the table. He keeps his 20-sided die in his pocket and walks away. I'm gonna keep it. It's a cool, cool dice. I don't know where the gasoline is. But I can't interact with the breaker. Gee, that's actually scared me, legitimately. I thought there would be like some, like, leaning down, pressing a button or something, you know? But nope. Just cracks on on. Yeah, it is a horse. Look at that. That's neat. I use this computer. I guess I'll tell him. There are some people down in your basement playing some kind of game, but they're gone now. In the basement? No, I don't think so. Maybe that lamplight was playing tricks on you. Well, strange things happen. Ugh. Strange things happen underground, especially in the dark. You're looking for Marquez. She knows her way around those roads. She'll get you to zero. The password is, uh... Damn. Usually just feel it out. Muscle memory, you know? It's kind of long. Like a short poem. I think. One of those short poems that really sums it all up. You'll figure it out. Hey. Super helpful. User. Typing Conway. Typing Joseph. Password. Wheels slide loose. The stars drop away. I talk and listen to him talking.
Nobody saw the accident. The moon throbs. It's late. It's late? You just breathe road. The lights whine. We'll only get later. The lights do whine. That's what accepted. All right. How's it going in there? Figuring it all out? Sure you are. Messages, Andrew's book, games. Andrew's book. Uh, I was told to look up Marquez. Head northeast on 65. And turn left. Northeast on 65 and turn left as soon as you see an ugly tree. Loaded that old TV of mine into your truck. I brought that thing from Weaver Marquez a number of years ago and that power is all weird over here. Um, sure. See you later, Blue. Oh wait, I want to talk to Blue. How's it going, Blue? It's odd, I never noticed it driving by. It seems like they're really on the rocks. Never noticed it. How about a treat? Here's some jerky, Blue. It reminds me a bit of your old man, Ira. Do you miss that guy? He was a good man. A good boss. I guess I do know this dog? Alright, let's hit Google Chrome. Hi, Blue. Get on the road. Gonna get on going. Alright, so northeast. Whoa. Whoa. Well, okay. Interesting. One sixty five and turn left to see. Well, how am I supposed to see a tree that's on fire? I'm 65. Oh, is that it? Burning tree. A tall black oak burns on a hill above the road. Oh. This is interesting. That is a very weird hub world. Hub world? Can it be a hub world? I don't know. Lamp. I love lamp. Quick, let's run over and look at the lamp. A street lamp lights the base of a dusty path. Hey, Blue. Maybe I could borrow you a treat up there. We're not gonna forget about Blue, alright? Blue's our girl. The good pup. Ooh, a graveyard. Family graveyard is set up to the side of the house. Noah Kowski, Padilla, and Marquez. Wait. And Marquez? Or is Marquez on the... Well, it's a last name, so... Makes sense, right? Ding dong!
Weaver, I was just thinking, what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Did you happen to see an owl? I mean, I can answer all three of those questions, but I can't. No, I've never been here before. I know. It must seem very strange to you. I was here when the house was built. So it's never been strange to me. There used to be another house here, but we had it destroyed and we built this one. It was very expensive and we got quite under the water. Got quite underwater. What do you do for work? Is it too difficult or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? The the conversations are so odd. Like the way people talk? It's like they're ghosts or something. I don't know, they don't talk like like normal humans. They talk like people just trying to get stuff out. I drive deliveries for a small antique shop. I believe it's hard times for a small antique shop. It's hard times everywhere. Even out here on our little farm. My parents stopped paying the bank a while back. I shouldn't even be here. I just stayed. Also, notebooks. I'm only a little bored. I much prefer to watch TV occasionally. Actually, I have a TV here that I think belongs to you. Will you please set it up? Then I can explain to you how to get where you're going. The zero. I know. How do you know? Did Joseph call you? That's not how it's supposed to look. You've made a mistake setting it up. Is it a foreign object to you? Which of your parents was it that wouldn't allow you to watch television? I thought she heard ghosts in the Sanic. Dad thought I was radioactive. Anyway, she thought she heard ghosts in the static. I know about that. She was ill, wasn't she? Mentally, I mean. Kind of distant? Fearful? No, she was just expressive. You have it all backwards. I'm not surprised. Are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. It's time to start paying attention now, Conway. Look closely at the television. Hey, hey, wake up. Spaced out for a minute there. Picture on the TV. The TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TV for a living. Well, she used to. I think the new models are giving her some trouble. Your cousin? That's my father's brother's daughter, Shannon. We're about the same age. Well, we used to be. She's older now. It's a workshop up north by the lake, right where Piona and Wax Road meet. It's a big bait and tackle shop, and she fixes TVs in the back. Do you like fishing? Do you like fishing? I can speak. Honestly, I'm not convinced that you should bother with the Zero. I'd much rather you find my cousin to fix my TV. But I'll get you headed the right way. So it's pretty easy. Get back on 65 heading north. Then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. From there, your arrival to zero. Oh. It's basically inevitable. There's something going on with the word zero. Nice to know you, Conway. Keep your eyes open. Especially in the dark.
Okay. Well, guys. That's gonna do it for the first episode. This is a very odd game, and I have no idea what to feel about it at this point. Most games, you kind of have, like, an idea of, like, how it's gonna work. Like, what the gameplay's like, what the game's kind of, like, what the whole thing is. But the trailers for this are super vague, and there's no detail to it. Also, the car is gone that's out here, and so is Weaver. Um... So I really have no idea what to expect in this game. I just heard that a lot of people liked it. It got good reviews and, and, and that's what got me interested. I saw that plus the trailer and I was like, okay, probably a cool looking game um, or a fun game or something. So I really have no idea where this is going to go. If you guys like this episode, you want to see more indie plays and stuff like that. I do appreciate you guys liking the video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll catch you guys for episode two. I'm definitely going to play more of this.